For the first time, Uber is confirming thousands of sexual assaults involving its passengers and drivers. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. The ride-sharing company says about 3,000 assaults were reported last year alone, and more than 200 of those were allegations of rape. CBS This Morning national correspondent Jerika Duncan is with us. Jerika, good morning. What else does this report reveal? Well, Tony, this report revealed that Uber says there were hundreds of reports of attempted rape and more than a thousand reports of non-consensual touching. Uber maintains that a very small percentage of its total rides were affected. A company spokesperson says Uber is committed to transparency and taking concrete steps to address these problems. In its long-anticipated safety report, Uber, which was responsible for 1.3 billion rides last year, took an unprecedented look into reported sexual assaults. If you want to improve something, you have to measure it. Uber's Brooke Anderson says the report was necessary for both customers and the company. The public has a right to know, and secrecy about the hardest issues that we face doesn't make anyone safer. In the two years they measured, 2017 and 2018, there were nearly 6,000 reports of sexual assault involving passengers and drivers. These are some, some very alarming figures. Fez Siddiqui um, is a technology another, reporter at the Washington said, Post. He says the numbers are significant for Uber and for the entire ride-sharing industry. That's a large number. It suggests that there is a huge societal problem or extension of a societal problem that's happening um, on our ride hailing trips. Uber and rival ride sharing service Lyft have faced harsh criticism in lawsuits for not doing enough to protect the safety of riders. Most recently, dozens of women are suing Lyft. Serious safety incidents are exceptionally rare. And in fact, 99.9% .9 of trips end without any safety issue at all. But I think it's also a reflection of the responsibility we have to constantly improve safety on our platform. Uber says it's rolling out new safety features that will allow riders to verify their driver with a secure PIN code, send a text message directly to 911 operators, and report safety incidents to Uber before their trip is even over. Uber CEO Dara Khazrashahi tweeted, doing the right thing means counting, confronting, and taking action to end sexual assault. CBS News spoke with him about the issue in September. We're not perfect. I wouldn't claim to be perfect, but I believe that we're significantly better than we were last year, and next year, darn it, we're gonna be better. You're seeing two reactions, uh, two sides who say, it's absolutely shocking that this number is now out there and it's in the thousands. And then you have another side that says, but it's good that the company is coming clean about it. There are many ways to support the Get Ready Production social media network. You can buy my products at the Get Ready Production store. Check out my online course, Skills to Pay the Bills. And you can donate as little as $1 to my Patreon page. All that and more at GetReadyProductions.com.